we finally have drop shadows in Canva. It's about time. What's good creators? Welcome back to Monson Media. I am super, super stoked to do this video today because Canva finally did it. They gave us what we wanted. They gave us not only drop shadows, but they gave us text effects in Canva. You had to do a workaround to get a drop shadow effect. Now that included duplicating the text, making it black, playing with the transparencies. And if you wanted that blurry effect, you had to export it as a ping and then re-upload it and then blur it. And it was too many steps. It baffled my mind to think that a design software did not have the ability to do drop shadows built into the program. So let's forget the babbling and look at the new text effects that we have available in Canva. Let's go. So I'm going to start with a new design and put in some text. Now, once you have the text selected, you will notice the effects feature at the top menu. So once you hit effects, you're going to come across seven different options to use for your text effects. The first one we're going to look at is the drop shadow. Finally, we have drop shadows that could be easily done with no workarounds. I'm so stoked for this. So obviously you want to change the drop shadow color to the color of your choice. I'm going to use black. Most of these text effects have similar functions. So offset, basically it's the distance from the text. So the farther right I slide it, the farther it gets from the text. And of course, direction would be the angle of the drop shadow or the effect itself. Now blur, obviously it makes it blurry to give it that effect. And of course the transparency, the farther right you go, the more intense that effect gets. So as you see, it's like really, really solid now. And if I slide it back down to the left, you can barely see it. Next, let's take a look at lift and lift only has the intensity slider. So sort of a very similar effect as drop shadows, but it's a lot more blurry and you can't change the direction. Hollow is really cool. I like this effect. It creates that outline look. So for example, if I slid in a picture here, you can see right through that text and it keeps that outline. The only option available for this is the thickness of that outline. Now with Splice, it looks similar to Hollow, but you get the extra layer of text. If I were to change the color, you see the main text area adopts that color and the outline stays white. Now I believe you can change that white color here. And again, you can increase the thickness of the outline, the offset and the direction. Now with Echo, it creates sort of like a drop shadow effect, but it's got uh, an extra two layers of text to give it a different look. Same options, offset direction, and you can change the drop shadow-like effect behind the text. Next is glitch, and it gives it that red, blue, kind of 3D-like effect. Uh, you only can change the offset and the direction. You could change the main color of the text, but the color options here I don't think it does anything because that's the effect. Would have been nice if you could change these colors to something else. And last but not least, we have neon. It gives it kind of that glow effect. As I increase the intensity to the right, the more the original color of the text comes out and that blurriness kind of looks like lift stays in the background. But if I slide it towards the left, it adopts that color that you give it. 
Now again, you could change the color up here. And you saw this effect that I used in the intro. I'm super, super pumped. We finally have drop shadows in Canva along with these other text effects. It's about time. So as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So I'm gonna be doing more animation tutorials, end screens, animated subscribe buttons and things like that. So you definitely, things like that, <laughs> things like that. So you definitely don't wanna miss the next few videos that will be coming up soon. Get out there, hit record and create.